Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we're taking a look at some bot bots! I picked these figures up, or I picked these sets up, over at Amazon.com. Now I've purchased two sets, and the first set on the left is the Techie Troop set. And then on the right, we've got the Toilet Troop set. These are a little weird. They come in packs of four, and then each pack contains a secret figure, which I'll show you once we get through, you know, both of these. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Techie Troop set first. The Techie Troop set consists of two tech-based figures and then two very not tech-based figures. The first figure is Chilla Gorilla, and he is a set of headphones, which... Is actually kind of cool. I like that. To transform the little gorilla dude, first come to the front where there is no writing, flip up the head, flip up the arms, fold out the fists, and that's it. We have ourselves a little headphone gorilla dude who looks pretty darn sweet. I gotta admit, he's pretty cool. Only issue I have is that he has a really hard time standing up unless you put his arms down on the ground like that. Next up is the laptop, otherwise known as Rad Hacks. Yeah. Now, this doesn't look like any modern laptop. This, in fact, looks like a laptop that I once worked on back in the, you know, late 90s. So, to transform him, first open up the laptop and you've got the keyboard there. And then a <laughs> sweating face, which I love. Fold out the antenna on the top of the monitor. Flip the monitor all the way up. Come to the sides of the keyboards and slide out his arms. This really does remind me of one of the Lenovo laptops from the early 90s, but, you know, missing the trackpad or the little nubbin. And then flip out his legs. And here we have Rad Hacks, the laptop. He's cute. He's so cute. He's so tiny. He does have some difficulty standing because he is super top heavy. This little dude is incredibly heavy for his size. I don't know. I kind of like him. He, though, looks continually sweating like he's downloading too much um, interesting material. He He's found things on the web that nobody should see. Next up is Slap Happy, who I think this is an eraser. This is not a tech thing. This is an eraser. So to transform the eraser, fold out the bottom parts, come flip it upside down, or come to the bottom that's already practically transformed, and flip up the arms, and that's it. The weakest of all the transformations on the techie team. I like the pink and the blue. That works well. But this is kind of lame as a techie thing. And finally, puck size, because nothing screams tech, like a hockey puck. To transform it, come to the back and kind of, well, you have to pull the head up, but first we'll flip the entire half puck, back hack of, of the puck out, pull, kind of fold the arms back, and then the head is supposed to slide up, but good luck getting this ugh, head to come up easily. It's really hard. Again, we have a figure that is way too back heavy for my taste but you can just kind of fold the puck part down a little bit so he can stand up i like this little dude he's pretty cool many of my family members play hockey so yay i like him now these little figures are pretty darn small but they're a lot of fun now height wise here is a prime master uh come on stand up prime master oh! okay trying that again Prime Master with the bot bots. Now I've split this up as, well, here are the tech guys and here are the not tech guys. Yeah, they're small. They're tiny. But they actually feel pretty good. The plastic is nice, it's chunky, and it feels solid. All of these figures feel heavy, which is nice. And they're kind of meant for small kids, I think. I like them. I think they're pretty neat. Next up is the Toilet Troop, which, again, we have two bathroom-centric figures, and two very not bathroom-centric figures. First up is Flowhawk, who I'm assuming he's supposed to transform into a garbage can, or maybe a diaper pail. 
I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of is that his head cannot be transformed correctly. You're supposed to push the head all the way down and cover up those visor or that visor, but you can't. In fact, I've gotten confirmation from other reviewers and other people online that that doesn't work. What does work is transforming his mohawk, which actually is really hard to flip out. Like, really hard. I end up having to use my teeth most of the time. Then come to the sides and fold out the arms that are on these little shields, and then slide apart the feet, and you get Flohawk. He's mighty. He looks angry. He is pink and black and rather cute. He is the angriest of garbage cans or diaper pails or whatever he's supposed to be. Next up is Poo Sham, as in shampoo. He, the little dude is a transforming bottle of shampoo. Start off with, come to the back, and open up these panels that will kind of form wings for his back. Turn the head 180 degrees, which is actually a lot harder than you would think it should be. Come into the sides and pull out the fists, or the arms, which, if you don't have any nails, is a lot harder to do than you might think. Oh, come on, you. I'm afraid to pull too hard, because I fear I might rip them off. And then, underneath, just flip out the feet, which, again, is a little, dif di little difficult to do. This little guy is just so freaking happy, I just, I can't not love him. He's so cute, he's so happy. Oh, you, you get a pass, little dude. Next up is the watch, otherwise known as Fitness Monster. And I love the 1984 going on there. Little Autobot symbol. Good choice, Hasbro. Good choice. To transform him, grab the 984 and flip it up over his, well, uncovering his face. Fold down his arms and then kind of fold the watch band back so that you can flip out his feet, which are actually kind of hard to flip out, and then just stand him up. I like to keep the 1984 up above his head, just so to counterbalance the weight of the watch band. It's a cute little dude. Very, very cute. He's a cute little watch thing. I like it. I do think some of the actual transforming watches from 1984 were better than this, but this guy's cute even if he can't really stand up all that well. And finally, we have the single best figure that, well, is in either of these two sets that I ended up with, and that is Sprinkleberry Donut. I'm serious. Sprinkleberry Donut. I think that's how you pronounce it. I swear this is the donut that, you know, Homer Simpson thinks about. I, I, I don't know what to do with that knowledge. Anyway, transformation. Chain transforming his face is actually really hard because you have to get your fingernails in these little tiny crevices and spin the face around till you get the, the robot face to appear and it really hurts my fingernails. Then we can slide the arms out and grab the legs and slide them down and we have our little sprinkleberry donut nah posability forget it but who cares we have a transforming donut lastly both of my secret hidden figures were the same bonds eye when i originally took them out of the packaging i thought they were dumpsters yeah i i thought these were dumpsters i really did Transformation is actually not hard. You have to grab the... Okay, I lied. Transformation is very hard. You have to grab the entire plant matter and pull it up, flip down the feet, and then pull the arms out. Getting the, getting the uh, plant matter, or the green part, above his head is... Or pulling, pulling his head out is hard, all right? Yeesh. I do like the fact that he's on clogs, Japanese-style clog shoes. That's a nice touch. Ah, oh, there we go. But I've got two of these. I would have really liked... Honestly, I really wanted the toilet paper transformer. 
not these guys. Oh well. Again, Prime Master for size comparison. Just to give you folks an idea of what the size of these figures are, they're a lot thicker and they are significantly heavier than any of the Prime Masters, though. Overall, I like these little dudes. They're fun, they're something different, they're super cute, and you could totally pose them with any figures. They're just neat. I forgot the donut. I like them. I think they're fun. They're just something different. They're something different. They feel great. I mean, the quality on the figures is high, so that's definitely a, a bonus. Hasbro in the main lines, uh, specifically with Siege, and then now with these guys, seems to be really upping their game in terms of quality, which I'm really glad to see. So I picked these up over at Amazon.com. I'll put a link down in the description. There's really no description to them, and it sounds like some folks are getting completely random sets, while other folks are getting the exact same figures that I ended up with here. So let me know what you think of these guys down in the comments. As always, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'm Ball Matrix, and I'll catch you next time. Mmm, donuts.